This city was desperate to hold the Summer Olympics. And it wasn't just about the games, it was about the money. But to be an Olympic worthy city, some black residents needed to be swept out. Will it happen again? The Summer Olympics were held in Atlanta, Georgia in 1996. But for years before then, the city prepared for the world renowned event at black residences expense. Between 1990 and 1996, about 30,000 people were displaced from their homes. In 1991, a host of city laws criminalized unhoused people because appearing desirable to tourists meant clearing black unhoused people off the streets. In 1995, the Atlanta City Detention Center opened. For those who weren't of the 9,000 illegally arrested, a partnership with a nonprofit called Traveler's Aid gave unhoused people one-way tickets out of Atlanta, making them sign pledges to never return. Meanwhile, to build the Olympic Stadium, neighborhoods and public housing for Black Atlantans were destroyed. More gentrification, anti-housed legislation, and high-tech criminalization produced today's Atlanta. History repeats itself. The construction of Cop City nears both the 2024 Democratic National Convention and the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The 1996 Olympics is a critical reminder that homelessness isn't about morals or luck. It's intentional, it's strategic. It's organized abandonment that criminalizes, brutalizes, and displaces black people for financial gain. But this won't be forever. Successful resistance to Cop City shows the same spirit that led people to protest against the Olympic project lives on.